Hello, and welcome back to another Live with Astronomer. Um, and what we'll be going through this week is actually something that you can follow along with. So if you want to head over to the Astronomer Yates GitHub, I also dropped it in the description. Um, what Essentially what we're going to be doing here is building a DAG with Cosmos. Um, that So if you want to follow along, sorry, if you want to follow along, link in the description. I'm just going to cover what we're doing now. So we're going to use Cosmos, which is an open source tool uh, from Astronomer that allows you to read your DBT project and render it as a DAG within Airflow without needing to uh, do it kind of the traditional way, which was for you just use bash operators to trigger your DBT models. And you just had to basically recreate your DBT workflows within Airflow. Not anymore. With Cosmos, instead of having, you know, what you might imagine the code behind this being a big long DAG, it's actually very simple. You have just a dbt DAG, profile config, um, and then what this will do is read my dbt project and use it to generate this dbt DAG. And it can also be rendered as a task group within an existing DAG as well. So you're not restricted to, you know, only being able to have your dbt workflows rendered in a DAG. You can also have, you know, the ingestion part, maybe bringing it out to analytics, all rendered within one uh, UI. And it also will show you the individual steps of your DBT workflows. You actually get uh, usable logs on what has happened within your DBT workflows instead of just a bash operator saying, hey, we triggered this operation and, and that's pretty much it. Um, so super useful tool. And so now I'll kick it over to the Airflow UI and I'll show you, you know, how we'll actually build this um, so that you can get an idea of how you can use Cosmos for yourself to manage your DBT workflows. Um, so the first thing I want to do before I actually get into the DAG creation, it's not, that's actually not the most important part with Cosmos. Um, I would say the most important part is actually setting up your DBT project. So as you can see here, I'm running a local Airflow environment using the Astra CLI. So running Dockerized Airflow here. And then within my DAGs folder, I actually have my DBT project. And so what this allows me to do is when I, you know, if I want to install this in a production environment, I'll install my Airflow and DBT project together so that then I can use Cosmos to render and manage my DBT workflows within Airflow, eliminating the need for you to use a separate UI like DBT Cloud to actually manage your DBT workflows. Um, so you can see here within my DBT project, I have a few different models where basically what we're doing is taking, extracting some customer data, uh, extracting some information about their bookings, combining them into one table. Uh, then we're finding the average cost uh, that they were paying for their bookings, as well as um, the amount of bookings each person is made or are made that are made each day at our hotel. Um, so basically just doing some basic business analysis using dbt to transform our data just like you might do in the real world environment you'll see i have my dbt project yaml file here where i have all my information around this project you know paths to my analysis models seeds um, i have my dbt models here so transform and analysis the two different schemas um, that i have you know within my model section for the dbt models I'll actually be run running and then to render this within Cosmos and actually bring in Airflow, that's all, you know, I can just leave my DBT project as it is. Um, you can choose to also install any packages you'd like as well. And then to actually build it within Cosmos, what I'll do is first just import the Astronomer Cosmos package. And then also because we're using Snowflake today, we'll import the Snowflake providers package. Um, and then we'll also need to uh, install DBT into a local environment uh, virtually. So this just allows us to connect to Snowflake and you can see just installing the connectors for DBT for Snowflake um, and Postgres it'll, can connect to both our backend Postgres database and the Snowflake database that will actually be managing it. Um, so you can see that there. And then what we'll need to do is also set up some creation scripts. So with uh, these are basically going to be your seed scripts. Um, so if you, if you go into a DBT project, into data, you can see I have my seed data here. If your seed data, so I didn't actually inc include a seed data in this DBT DAG, so you can add one if you want to extend it yourself, or you can just run these creation scripts within Snowflake. And then you also need to create a DBT user within Snowflake. Um, and this is, again, not really necessary, but what we're doing here is just segmenting all of our DBT work into a separate warehouse. So that way it's not going to mess with any of our existing data or workflows. Um, so just best practices rather than giving it full sysadmin permissions to our entire uh, database. So now we've got our connections set up. We've got our uh, data, our tables created within Snowflake. Um, we've got our DBT project. Now it's time to actually 
uh, develop our Cosmos DAG. So start from scratch here. So the first thing we're going to do is import all of our packages. So we're going to you know bring in our uh, all of our different Cosmos uh, components, so dbt DAG, project config, profile config, execution config. I'll explain what these mean in a second. Um, and then we'll also need our Cosmos profiles that allow us to connect to Snowflake and Postgres. Um, so these will basically allow you to, instead of needing to hard code your credentials into dbt or use a separate credential management system to manage your connections through dbt to your database, you can actually use Cosmos profiles to just pull the Snowflake connection from the Airflow UI and then use that as the uh, connector to your Snowflake database. Um, so after we've got all these set up, we'll actually define a profile config. And so profile config, this is optional. You can also use DBT's built-in profile management systems, but I'm trying to show off uh, it's everything within Cosmos here that's different. So here, what this profile config allows you to do, and this is again, leveraging that built-in uh, Snowflake connection within my Airflow UI. Um, I'm saying here, just setting a name for my profile, setting a target name of where I'm going to be operating with this profile. And then here, I just leverage my Snowflake user uh, password profile mapping. And what this will do is take my Snowflake connection that I've uh, added to the Airflow backend, choose which database and which schema I actually want to execute these operations in, and then execute them using or and then we we'll take this profile mapping and then pass it into our dbt dag so our dbt dag can use it to connect to snowflake and manage our data within there now our next step is going to be actually writing our dbt dag so here the first or not the first thing it's, this is the only other thing we have to do within this dag file so here you'll see i have this uh, dbt snowflake dag object so initializing it similarly um, render templates you can see the compiled sql rendered from the actual models file that it's running so really useful for you know hey visualizing understanding what's happening within your dbt workflow that you wouldn't get from just you know a traditional bash operator um, so makes your dbt code a lot more readable we also can see the uh, input and output data sets via xcoms um, and you can also just you know obviously monitor all the details around a task state um, and just have all of the customizability that you would have for any other airflow task. So let's say, you know, hey, I want to uh, clear this task and run it again. So let's clear it. And then let's see will it run. You can see, yeah, it's running again. So instead of need to run a full DBC model, I can actually run individual steps within a model um, without needing to run the entire workflow again. So you get all those retryability, all the different functionality that you get with Airflow layered into your DBT workflows. Um, so really cool functionality here. And then if you go over into my data um, here, under demo DBT tables, you can see I have my, what is the information is? customer analytics right so let's look for customer analytics oh wait. Mm, let's see what was this final table called go to our more details go to our xcoms and this was demo dbt transform prep data so let's go look at the prep data hmm where is it demo dbt There we go. So here, data preview. You can see our analysis views that show the average 30-day uh, cost for each hotel here. Um, and then we can also go back and look at you know all the raw data that actually led into creating all these tables. So super useful tool. Just makes actually using Airflow to render your DBT workflows much, much simpler. So if you're using DBT right now, uh, I really could not encourage you enough to try it out. Um, and yeah, that is all I really had to show you today. Just wanted to give you know you a real world example of using Cosmos um, in to manage DBT workflows. Um, so I hope you learned something. I hope I see you next week when we'll talk with the creator behind the Ask Astro AI. So if you want to learn more about that, uh, don't miss it. Always here Tuesday at noon. See you next week. Bye.
my data um, here, under demo dbt, 